Hello now today marks exactly 30 years since the release of the last political prisoner from Robben Island. Nelson Mandela and many other struggle stalwarts were imprisoned on that island, you'll know. It's now a popular tourist attraction. Let's find out what this historic day means for those who endured its hardships. Pan-Africanist Congress veteran Jackie Seroke joining us this morning. Jackie, a very good morning to you and thanks for your time on what is undoubtedly a, a very emotional day, I would imagine, for, for yourself and others as well. What feelings uh, does a day like this actually conjure up for you? Oh yes, um, Rebecca. The, the, the greatest thing about it is to to actually feel as a person to be free, to be let out of prison, uh, and conditions that you you couldn't control hmm. for the better part of your life, and and to experience a release from prison. I think it's a wonderful thing. Hmm. And, you know, if you have to think back, I mean, this is uh, 30 years since the last person actually walked off uh, that island or took the ferry, rather. Um, I, you know, I, I would imagine that for you, it, it sort of brings in a, a whole montage of, of pictures and just of your time there. Just describe for us sort of when you close your eyes and think of Robben Island, what it is you see and feel. The, 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 what comes into the picture of my mind is um, the camaraderie with, with, with the other prisoners, mm. uh, the sense of uh, comradeship, uh, the sense of commitment to, 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 to the national question, because we took ourselves as people who had sacrificed their lives uh, uh, for common good of many. Mm. So uh, that, that in itself uh, creates uh, an image where you see yourself as having contributed to the betterment of society. Mm -hmm. the, the other issue really is the depressing conditions on the island. Mm -hmm. um, the, the way in which the orders ill-treated uh, political prisoners and the way in which some of the conditions were depressing and some people were cracking, some of our comrades were very ill, taken to, to hospital and so on. Um, all those images uh, all come together. I mean, they were also, Robben Island was taken as a political school. So there were also issues that uh, led to personal development mm -hmm. uh, and an ability to engage with others on issues with which you are comfortable, uncomfortable, and, and, and mm -hmm. dealing with um, the, the essence of the struggle, really, mm -hmm. uh, and which is a, a, a great a way of learning things. Well, Jackie, just looking at the state that we are in as a country now and all those hardships that you describe, as you're sitting now talking to us, would you say it was all worth it or do you roll your eyes and go, but what did we go through all of that for? No, I, I think it was an important uh, contribution to, to, to destroy uh, an, uh, a settler regime. Mm. Uh, and, and one can never regret having taken part in, in, in um, a glorious struggle like that. It's, uh, it's important to, to see it within context. Um, the present conditions are, however, different. And, uh, uh, and because, I mean, the, the, the hardest struggle is to uh, reconstitute the country, develop a people, and, 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 and attend to the growth of a nation. That is harder than the struggle we had because. Mm -hmm. Ours was uh, to bring down a regime, uh, mm -hmm. but to, to reconstruction is, mm -hmm. a, is a difficult thing. And I know that some of the challenges could be better handled. Um, but we uh, in the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania uh, have always maintained the position that um, it is, it is a, a bourgeois democracy that we have. It's a liberal democracy that is above the heads of ordinary people. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, in their first inter interest, it, it, it accommodates um, from, from those who are oppressed, the educated, the elite, and so, and, and so forth, who are a tiny minority, but the majority of the people live in dire poverty. Mm. That's, that's how the structure is, because there hasn't been a, a clear program of transformation and change. And what would be seen as a negotiated settlement is predicated on, on falsehood uh, and issues that we regard as um, uh, giving in and caving in to pressure from, from uh, our former oppressors. So uh, the approach is not surprising. Mm.
uh, from, from a, from a Pan-Africanist point of view? Well, well, as we know, Robben Island went, went on to become a tourist attraction, as we know. Have you been back since you left there as a prisoner? Yes, I've been to Robben Island several, on several occasions. We, we held a, a, a reunion of political prisoners on the island uh, in 1995, hosted by the then state president, Nelson Mandela. Mm. We, we also, as political prisoners on our own, uh, held a meeting in, I think, 2006 or seven around that period, where we were discussing our own internal issues as former politi uh, political prisoners. Um, and last year, you know, in, 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 on, on the 3rd of February in 2020, this mm. was before mm. COVID mm. and the lockdown, um, the PAC had, had hosted a memorial for Robert Sobuk. I was there and I, we, we, we spent uh, 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 some time at the little Pondoki that Sobuk mm. used mm. As, as, as his prison or where he was, he was in prison. Yes. So I, I guess you should say I also revisited, had memories, went to my cell and, and, and told a few wow. uh, younger people how I, I experienced uh, Robben Island. And how did it feel being back after all these decades? I, I think that um, a prison, and I, I'm saying this symbolically, prison mm. obviously confines a person. South Africa now is a bigger prison. I mean, there are, there are serious limitations for a lot of people. I mean, we have um, the underclass, a, a, a growth of the underclass, um, uh, dysfunctional families, young people who grow up without houses, without... Um, uh, a better future with limitations almost on every and they come in, in, in large majorities. Yeah. Even when they uh, raise their head and try to go to universities, they cannot afford to pay the large sums of, of fees that are there. There's also um, uh, engineered enmity between black and white because, um, as you can see, I mean, white privileges are protected by the Constitution. Um, uh, the issue of land is still in the hands of um, uh, those who occupied it before. Our view, um, in, in particular in the PAC political, is that clause 25 of the Constitution really protects not only minority interests, it protects the land and it le legitimizes theft. So, so it's, it's unacceptable. Mm. And I, I just wanted to know from you, Jackie, the great tension in the country. When you did go back, you said uh, February last year, I, I just wanted to know how it felt being back there after, after all, all the time that had passed between you first leaving. Uh, look, it's, uh, um, for me, it, it, it made me recall uh, the times when I was there and my own uh, challenges, my personal development, uh, the way in which I could endure uh, hardships because, mm -hmm. I mean, prisons, prison is hardship. So my personal development, my, my, my character as a person, and w when I made a review being on Robben Island, uh, some of the things we did which are good and the bad ones and my own mistakes and, mm. and problems, I, I, I went back to face that monster and deal with it. Mm. And I feel, I feel um, I've com confronted my ghosts. Ah. Um, I, 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 the, only, the only issue I haven't been able to, to, to deal with is that, you know, you, you don't go to, to prison uh, like a tourist. Um, mm -hmm. the, the system, they arrest you, torture you, uh, put you... I'm, I'm, I'm still dealing with that because it's an, it's an unpleasant memory. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I sometimes struggle to, to tell people what I've gone through mm -hmm. um, because the torture... I mean, you know, being in the hands of sadists is, is, mm -hmm. is not really mm -hmm. uh, a pleasant thing. And I know that most prisoners have... Uh, themselves gone through yeah. the same thing. We, we even among ourselves could not discuss it because this is where we are reduced, we are dehumanized and reduced in the hands of uh, uh, our torturers. Well, very brave of you to have gone back after all of that. Jackie, if I can ask you very quickly as a final question, you know over the past couple of weeks we're hearing about uh, the, the threat that the Robben Island Museum is under, they're battling especially after COVID as well. How important is it for you that we find a way to, to preserve this, this place? I look, Robin, Robin, and despite, I mean, not only the, the prisoners during apartheid um, uh, make the, the, the place historically important, 
there were prisoners who who were there in the in the early years. Um, uh, some of the kings who were put on Robben Island, um, and and people who left her who were there. So th the place has history. Mm. It, it it really uh, captures our history of conflict, our history of achievement, our history of triumph. And to to leave it in a state of neglect is very responsible. And I I, I think that. Um, uh, it, it should be upon the state who are uh, holding this in, in, in the interest of, of the nation to, mm. to keep preserve it and keep it in a, in a pristine position. All right, Jackie Siroke, ex-Robin Island prisoner, thank you very much uh, for sharing that with us. It's difficult.